it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Colts offense coming back out. It's a team that, as we said, in week eight beat Denver 15 to 13. And it was an interesting game for Adam Vinatieri. He missed a field goal on the Colts opening drive, missed the extra point on the lone touchdown, but then he did what Adam Vinatieri does, Charles, when it mattered. With 30 seconds left, he hit the game-winning field goal. And he has kept the confidence of his head coach despite his struggles earlier this season and his struggles in this game against Denver. A lot of coaches are like, okay, hold on a second. This isn't really working. They would have called offense differently. Instead, Frank Reich settled for the field goal. He called runs on second and third down inside the Broncos' 35. He said, I felt like we were inside Vinny's range. Worked, very, worked out very well for Frank Reich. Didn't work out for Matt Nagy in Chicago when he knelt, and then Eddie Pinero missed the field goal. Yeah, but Vinatieri hit the 51-yarder. Because he's Adam Vinatieri. Yeah, I mean, that's why they call him the GOAT, right? Colts won, have won three in a row now to get to 5-2, and two, and they'll be at the Steelers in Week 9. Second down, Brissett, and this is going to be incomplete. Jalen Ramsey right there in coverage to knock it away. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Brissett sets to throw it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Miles Garrett able to get him down for a loss of 11, and it brings up fourth down. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception? But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is taken at the 15. Ooh, with a juke. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And the Patriots take over. the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early oh, no. momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. And he's into the clear. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This one taken from the seven. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. 